Senior Report thanks Edmund Besch of Bristol Burgess Insurance Agency, 65 East Main Street, Westfield, for his generous grant to provide news to seniors. Funding is provided by a grant from New York State Senator Catherine M. Young, representing Western New York's 57th District with a local office in Olean. Funding is provided by a grant from Absolute Care of Westfield, committed to returning the favor to those who spent a lifetime caring for others. Absolute Care is located at 26 Cass Street in Westfield. Dave Cass and Rick Newell provide funding on behalf of the Lakeview Hotel and Restaurant at the Docks, located on Water Street, near the lake, in Mayville. From the Access Channel 5 television studio in Mayville, it's Senior Report with Reed Powers. Senior Report is broadcast live throughout northern Chautauqua County on Saturday morning from 9 to 10 a.m. each week. Call in and share a thought, make a comment, ask a question, or simply wish someone a happy birthday on Chautauqua County's only live call-in senior program. Since 1995, Reed has been bringing viewers hundreds of interesting guests, informing the community on a variety of subjects. Here's the host of the show, Reed Powers. And good morning. What a beautiful day in Chautauqua County. It stopped snowing. What do you know, Joe? And actually, it's been the mildest winter in the history of the world, I think. It's been just great. We have a wonderful guest with us. Um, his name is Jay Gould, if you don't know him. Member of the legislature. And he's the one, he's a boss over there now. He is the chairman. He means he runs the show. Um, and uh, he's going to be here to answer your questions, to talk. And remember, anybody who wants to call in doing this program, this is your magic carpet into the world and the universe. And you just call this number 753-JACK. Or if you don't like Jack, just 7535225. And you will be immediately on the air all over Chautauqua County, and you'll have a chance to express your opinion with somebody a happy birthday, give somebody a handshake, uh, or a boot in the back. Who cares? Uh, this is your time. I uh, also have another guest who's going to be here, and her name is Ms. Harvey. Karen Harvey is, is one of our uh, stellar photojournalists around here, video journalists, and she did a lot to help save the Westfield Memorial Hospital. And if you don't believe that, go to YouTube and check out Westfield Memorial Hospital, and you'll get a, an awful lot of stuff. Uh, and her husband, Roy Harvey, is very, very uh, active himself. Now, we also have all kinds of things on TV. I, I can't watch the TV without yelling at it. Uh, the war still goes on in Afghanistan, where we've tripled the troops. They said, well, we're out of Iraq now. Not quite. We've got a whole bunch of troops waiting right on the border to jump back in. And uh, I, they still have a bunch of them there who are, quote, training, which is always a game. And uh, it's uh, still costing us a bundle. And, uh, of course, Afghanistan is just a total disaster. It's brought down three civilizations that we know of. Const uh, Constantine uh, went in there and blew it. And the uh, English went in there and blew it. And then the Russians went in there and blew it, trying to, sa to educate, tame, and uh, uh, befriend the savages that live in the mountains who don't have anything to do with us. And they all hate us in Afghanistan. And the minute we leave, just like in, I'm surprised that the guy, uh, the puppets we put into charge in, uh, in Iraq are st uh, still there. I figured they'd leave, they'd leave right in front of us. But uh, I don't think they'll last much longer. <laughs> <laughs> and same in Afghanistan. I mean, jeez, Karfai, they all hate him. It's the most corrupt government in the world. They produce 90% of all the cocaine in the world in Afghanistan. You believe this? This is our model uh, country. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Oh, forget it. Congress doesn't care. They're, ri they're for of the rich, by the rich, and for the rich. <clears throat> they won't even give you a decent standard of living, seniors. You've lost 40 percent. You've lost uh, most of your uh, costs, uh, most of your Social Security because of the fact that they have refused to give you a fair COLA. They, they drummed up this trick, phony federal figure called core inflation to prove there's no inflation. Well, if you go down to the supermarket, you'll find it's a quite a change. 
and uh, your insurance has gone up 50% and so forth, but oh, there's no inflation. Banneke, the chief architect of our economy, has the audacity to sit there on television facing the American public saying, I don't see any inflation. What? You're getting 40 cents on a dollar from the last 10 years, seniors. That's what this has amounted to. And Congress doesn't care. They wouldn't give you a couple hundred dollars to help out last year. Uh, oh, of course, they're not going to tax the rich and powerful. They're going to get a half the tax you and I pay, especially if you count in Social Security. What do you think of that, Jay? Mm -hmm. All right, now here we go. Uh, Jay Gould, he is not a, uh, he's not one of the rubber barons. That was uh, the guy who ran the railroads, right? He really took off. All right. Yeah, he, yeah. he made quite a bit of money, but yeah. his kids spent it before it got to you. never got to you. Same with my family. Yeah. They lost all in the Depression. Okay, guys. Uh, enough of the television. I can't even watch TV. It just maddens me. It makes me crazy. All, you talk, all they talk about on TV, for the most part, is... Uh, the, the Republicans who are battling it out for the nomination, who are constantly spending most of their time downing uh, Obama, who probably has some serious weaknesses, I might add, but <laughs> uh, and the rest of the news is divorces and speeding tickets and drunk driving from all the Hollywood stars. That's what you get on TV. They don't really want you to get the true news of what's going on, how you're being screwed by Congress in terms of, your, of the economy. They're taking away all your rights, all your privileges. They, they just dropped uh, child care, I might add. They keep telling us how important college is. And they drop college funding, a lot of it. The Pell Grants out there. What, you know, health care, forget it, seniors. They just t chopped half a trillion, that's a, with a T, off your uh, Medicaid, Medicare. Oh, well, let them die, I guess. That's, uh, that's the uh, Congress uh, attitude because you know, if you don't have health care and you're cut back to nothing on you because of inflation on your income, you can't buy food. You'll be buying this, though. This is cat food. That's what they ate during the Depression when they were living in their children's basements. Which senior, I guess that's what the Congress wants. All right, enough said, enough said. We got some good news. We have a wonderful bunch of senior clubs here in upstate uh, New York around Chautauqua County, and I just wanted to mention a couple of them here. There's Dunkirk Senior uh, citizens, uh, the senior club, and those guys, uh, their board of directors is, uh, is, uh, is president over there is uh, Barbara Badgers, and she's going to uh, make sure that you guys have a place to stay. They have, incidentally, bus trips scheduled to Niagara Falls Casino, and remember, take the free chips, play them, but don't gamble. If you win, walk away. If you lose, walk away. Don't stay there, because you'll walk away without your shirts and your underpants, believe me. Uh, they'll scalp you. Don't gamble. All right, enough said. Uh, you can say I'm very popular with the casinos. No, I got to put my cheaters on here. I had the eye, LASIK eye surgery. Boy, is that wonderful, but it doesn't help your local vision. <laughs> They're having a big gala. Um, let's see, it'll be in February uh, on, tw on the 12th, and it has a wonderful dinner. The whole works, the schmear, the cost of the dinner is very, very reasonable. And they're making favorites for St. Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day. And St. Patrick's Day is a great holiday, truly American holiday, since most of us are related to somebody Irish. And that means we have a little blood there. It's starting Mahjong. Can you believe that? Mahjong, it's a very popular game, and it's especially with the Asians, you know, the Chinese. But uh, they're going to try, try bingo. What? Try bingo? Every, <laughs> every group in the world has bingo. Uh, Silver Creek, the AARP is uh, establishing that safe driving course. Uh, it used to be called 55 Alive, and uh, anybody 55 over can take it. Now, anybody can take it. <laughs> and it. It's very inexpensive, especially if you're a member of AARP. You kind of fold that into it. And uh, it takes two uh, short uh, sessions. You watch some films, you gab a little, you have some cookies, and uh, that's the end of it. And you get 10% off your insurance. Aha! And you lose your points. I said, you know, I've got some, I haven't got any points to lose. Well, can I bank them in case I get one? They said, no, you can't do that. <laughs> you got to have them already. Vice President over there is uh, Helen uh, Barone. And if you want to get involved, uh, call her up. She's very well known. Or Ruth McCoyak, who's the uh, treasurer over there. Um, I just want to say there no, no meeting is going to be held the 24th of January. They're not having that meeting. But they are having a meeting January 31st. Next meeting over at Dunkirk. And uh, you'll have it. Lakeshore Seniors, that's a group in Fredonia that's in a big uh, hassle, I guess, with the uh, town of Pomfret because it looks like they're going to shut down their senior center that they're using now. 
because of the rent and uh, uh, various uh, matters such as uh, taxes and uh, uh, cutting back and so forth because uh, Congress isn't helping out much. Uh, January 25th is the next meeting over there. If you want to get over and chat with them, talk to Barbara Barberich, who is the president, or Urbanek and Warner. <laughs> uh, they play, uh, always as usual, they, they spend uh, the afternoon playing bingo and socializing. All right, uh, let's see. They say my time is up. What do you mean? I just started. I'm up. I'm finished. I have no more time for the news. Okay, we'll have a public relations uh, announcement. Uh, PRA, PRS, PSR, PSA. <laughs> Here you go, guys. This is for you. All right, guys. We got to be smarter about what we bite on, okay? I want everyone to go outside. We're going to run Red Rover on three. What about you, Tony? I'm going to run around in circles, flap my arms, and make engine noises like this. When it comes to playing, we kids are the pros. We're eating right, too. We fuel up. To play 16! Your school doesn't have a program? Be a leader. Start one. Click today and join, join the movement. movement. Okay, there you go, guys. Now, we have a guest uh, uh, opinion artist here. She's going to do an op-ed for us, and her name is Karen Harvey. She's a well-known photo or uh, visual uh, journalist. She does uh, a hell of a lot of good work. And uh, she's here to talk a little bit about that hospital scene. And you're on. Good morning, Karen Harvey. Good morning. I want to talk about the Chautauqua County Nursing Home. The Chautauqua County Nursing Home is a very beautiful, well-run, and high-quality nursing home. If it is sold, and it's under discussion whether it will be sold, if it is sold, our seniors, our parents, and our grandparents will be in jeopardy. They deserve quality care. They have a right to quality care. That care will be jeopardized. For-profit, privately-run nursing homes are in the business to make money. If they cannot make money off you, your parents, your grandparents, then they will decline them care. This is a historic fact. This has always been true, no matter what the politicians tell you. I can tell you, having visited many pro-profit and private nursing homes in my career as a news journalist for 30 years, what I have seen. I have seen private, for-profit homes that are overcrowded, inadequately staffed. I have seen old people parked on urine-soaked couches in dark rooms, alone, frightened, neglected, abused, sometimes tied to toilets, with poor nutrition, inadequate care. I have seen them robbed and sometimes raped by the very caregivers that are paid minimum wage to care for them. They cannot defend themselves. The politicians tell us over and over, let us move this forward, the sale of the county nursing home. If the county nursing home is sold, we will be moving backward. Thank you, Reed. Thank you very much, Karen. And uh, I might add the broker is under investigation <laughs> and, and pursued all over the place for fraud. <laughs> but that's, not, that's another matter. Maybe they do a good job for us. Who knows? I wanted to, uh, what was the name of that broker? No, it's not, no names. They're sue us. <laughs> well, the, dep uh, the Deputy Secretary of State, Daniel Shapiro, has launched an investigation. That's the Secretary of St State of New York, uh -huh. has launched an investigation into that brokerage firm for fraud and sh scams, uh, misrepresenting properties sold, and then suing people. Uh, Who try to voice opposition. Right. But he's basing that on the suits that have been completed, followed through, and concluded in Illinois, Oregon, and California. Okay, thank you very much, Karen Harvey. Input. Uh, I did want to mention the fact that some of these uh, uh, lousy homes do exist, but uh, the absolute Westfield just received.